I think for me, you know, since I forecast innovation and technology, what strikes me about food in this country is that psychology completely dominates the discussion to the detriment of technology. So, you know, it's all about pesticides, animals, CO2, obesity, diet, vegan, and even Martin indulged it a bit with your hostility to avocado miles uh, there, Martin. Well, you know, for me, what we don't discuss is whether precision agriculture, which uses satellites to detect and transmit information about the moisture in raspberries, we're not talking about using precision agriculture so that we can water and pick plants and horticulture faster and we can get around the labour shortages that way. We're not talking about the new raspberry picking robots that have got 50% efficiency. The whole discussion is all about, you know, our stomachs, are we too fat, Uh, what about the additives and all of that. It's so boring. We could be making a high-tech industry with better jobs, better jobs, not back Well, well, hang on, because the the, the trouble with mechanisation is that you would do away with all those jobs. No, it doesn't follow. That's that's already happened. We've seen that with... with, During the pandemic, we've seen this kind of rush towards mechanisation. No, we didn't. No, we have in in, in Italy. Well, also, by the way, they they have shortages of crop because it's... Is it Brexit in in Italy? The answer is not a Brexit thing. It's a pay thing, and it's about workers getting into different sectors during pandemics. But I think we need to be really sort of clear-headed about this. I think, you know, we're going to see an awful lot of, of jobs automated away from the working classes, the low-skilled. You know, and, I, and I, I wish I, you were I, right, Martin. My son is, I mean, if you remember, five or ten years ago, we were told that, uh, you know, robots would take half of our jobs. What, what's really apparent in British industry, including agriculture, is the underinvestment in IT, underinvestment in mechanisation. If we did it right, we could preserve and make better jobs. In Whose job should it be to do this technological innovation? Well, it's partly entrepreneurs and, you know, the private sector. No problem with that. Uh, But it also, you know, is part of the the government's job to look at long-term research and development. We're not there yet with raspberry picking. I just had a look at it, uh, Michelle. The US government is sponsoring artificial intelligence, AgAid, as it's called, or ag, ag, yeah, AgAid, agricultural AI, to the tune of, guess what, in the United States, right, we're looking nearly Ukraine in terms of agriculture, 20 million bucks. That's what the capitalists want to invest yeah. in mechanization and AI in, you know, Dakota, Arizona, or anywhere else that they do stuff with, uh, you know, food think, or whatever. 